everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kaylin, and this is just a super casual video. I decided I wanted to sit down and just kind of chit chat for a little while, like what's going on on our side of the mountain. I'm pretty sure I can count on one hand the number of movie or videos that I have filmed with my hair in a ponytail, so that lets you know how real it is. Like I just was like, oh, I just kind of want to update you guys on some stuff that's going on over here. So if you want a fun update, then let's go ahead and do that. All right, friends, so I have a lot of new people coming over to my channel. I'm really grateful that you guys are here and I hope that you find some awesome content. Um, just as a quick introduction, we are a homeschooling channel. I've been homeschooling now going into my fifth year of homeschooling, which is shocking to say and someday <laughs> I'll, I'll look back and just shake my head like I can't believe we did that. But here we are, and I've got three kiddos. This year I will have a third grader. My daughter is in between kindergarten and first grade, and then my youngest son is going into preschool. Um, my daughter, the reason she's between two grades is because she's a fall birthday, so we started her in January. So it's kind of weird because we still do a typical traditional school year starting in September and ending in May. Um, we start in August, but anyway, so she finishes the previous year and then starts the new year kind of all in the same school year. So it is confusing for her and it'll forever be confusing here on my channel, but that's my daughter for you guys. Um, anyway, so talking about homeschool, um, I am still in the process of organizing the school year for the next coming school year, 2021. And usually by now I'm really organized and I've just put my fingers on all of my curriculum, ripped out pages, filled the crate, got the system all organized. And I haven't done that yet. And as a consequence of that, here's a word to the wise, um, new curriculum is still like crossing my eyes and going across my desk and I wanna like purchase it and buy it and use it because I'm like, oh, this is what I need, this is what I need. And then in retrospect, I like go through my huge big piles that I have waiting to be organized and I'm like, oh geez, I already had something that we're using for this and now I have to different curriculums or whatever. So anyway, that's like a little word to you all if you are new or if you're getting started. Um, once you start organizing your curriculum and you have what you think you need, then the faster that you can just spread it out and get it ready for your school year, the more it can save you in the end. Because <laughs> I feel like now I've spent even more money because I've I just love stuff. But Anyway, I have gone through a couple of my new curriculums with you guys here on my channel. Um, check out those, look in the books if you're curious about those. But um, yeah, I'm excited about a new school year and we have some new furniture coming in. I always like to kind of revamp my classroom. Um, so we're gonna reorganize and get some new furniture, some new desks, um, a new organizational system kind of going on this year. So all kinds of changes, none of which have actually happened, but we are thinking about it. So that's been good. Our summer has also been really good. Um, a couple videos ago, I showed you guys about our summer basket and what we do for learning time. And it hasn't been the way that it's been in the past. So which is, you know, fine and, and dandy or whatever. But in the past, we've had like a chunk of time or a block of time where we would have like learning together. And it was always really like sweet and like whimsical. But um, I guess reality has now set in a little bit more this summer. And I've just taken more of a back seat and been a lot more relaxed about it. Um, I think part of it is my experience in the homeschool world now that I don't feel quite so public school trained and so that's been a blessing um but for now like for our summer basket we kind of have been doing it gradually and as ch in chunks as we go throughout our week so we do we are still doing these i brought these over just to show you these are the evan moore summer what they call them daily summer activities um and i have one for all of my kids and then my oldest one i have his downstairs but I got one even for my preschooler. I really love these resources. Again, they're from Evan Moore. I'll put a description box below a link down there um, if you wanna go and check those out. But it's intended to be done every day, which we do on occasion, but my younger kids go through several pages in one day and my older student, he'll just do one page front and back. So he's like still finishing up week 
I think he just barely got into week two and my older or my younger kids are like finishing up week three. So that is just, it is what it is. It takes my oldest longer to do his work because his is a little more intensive. And so the other younger kids just trace their um, letters and and circle the numbers and that sort of thing. But anyway, so that's been good. And then I also have in those baskets like some games and songs and read alouds and that sort of thing. And I have found this summer that we go to that basket just as something fun to do when like the hours are long or the kids are kind of getting grumpy or something like that, then I'll go to the basket and grab the read aloud book or I'll go to the basket and say, okay, let's play this game or that sort of thing. So it's been a nice resource to have more on like the back shelf instead of something that is scheduled into our day um, every day. So anyway, so that's been that. The other thing that we started this summer, which I have been love, 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 loving is poetry tea time and um, number one, it is labor intensive. This is not for me. This is not like a sweet moment where I get to sit down with my kids and we like drink fancy drinks on the nice china with the teapot and have these fun little snacks. Because for me, someone, someone has to make those cute little treats and tea sandwiches and all that stuff. And um, I have like gone to the store and purchased some here and there, but for the most part, it just turns out into a fun craft where I get to do it either with my daughter or I just get to bake something fun in the kitchen, but it is labor intensive. And then we have tea time, which is maybe a half hour, 45 minutes if I stretch it out really long and then I have to clean it all up. So um, it is labor intensive and I will warn you about that, but it is so sweet and I love it and I love the little delicious snacks and I love, I got this cute darling teapot on Amazon and it matches the china that I got from my mother. So anyway, it's been a really sweet thing for us and I did get one, it's more of a nursery rhyme book than it is a poetry book, but I have some um, wish list uh, poetry items coming down the line that I'm excited. So when I finally like settle my entire poetry tea time season, which is gonna be coming in full force when the fall hits, then I'll do a video to show you guys a little bit about that because you're gonna wanna include it. It's so, so fun. Um, one more quick update. I'll talk to you guys about my preschool with me program. Um, so I've started filming it. I mentioned it a couple of videos back. If you're new and don't know about it, what it is, um, I am creating a digital, like a distance learning preschool program that will have about a 15 minute video instruction with me. And then an activity that I have created to go along with the video instruction. Um, and so far I, I mean, it's just started. So it's a lot of work, <laughs> but I did a little pilot week with several people and the feedback was really good. So um, I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. So um, I have created a separate channel that I'm going to be uploading those videos on. It's called, I think the video, the channel's called Preschool With Me. I'll put a link down below. Um, subscribe to that channel, show me some love there, so that as those videos begin to populate here in the next couple of weeks, that um, we can have all the fun there and you can see what's coming down and share it with your friends and family. And hopefully, it'll be a super valuable resource. I have so many people have been contacting me about my preschool experience and how they can integrate pre preschool in their home. I've also talked to so many people who have older children and they are in the same boat as me where the younger children have kind of been getting the leftover or the scrap pieces of their time and attention or, um, they're spending a bunch of time with their older kids curriculum that the younger ones just haven't had that same experience. So I'm creating this program in hopes to empower moms and grandmas and daycare people and anybody who feels like they have young ones that they want to have a little learning time with. Um, then they'll have a fun video instruction and then have some supplemental activities, not just like necessarily worksheets, but some activities that they can do with their young ones that complement the lesson that they have. And it all kind of started, and I'll talk about this later in another video, but it all started with just, um, well, it started with COVID for sure, because that's when a lot of people began directing their attention to at-home learning. But beyond that, um, it more just comes from my passion of teaching and what I want for my kids. When I was very first looking into preschools with my first kid, I was looking for something that was 
more educational. I didn't want just like a daycare or to send my kid off for a few hours. I wanted to know what he was learning about because when he came home, I'd want to be like, hey, what did you learn? And be able to prompt some discussion instead of being like, I don't know, you know. So I wanted to know what he had. I also wanted it to be Christian based so that things that we were learning at home were being echoed in his classroom. And if, as if that wasn't enough, <laughs> um, I just wanted it to be fun and educational and inviting and all those good things. So, um, especially now that COVID's here, I've created all of those fun things that I love and put it into a distance learning program so that I can share kind of my passion for teaching and my passion for preschool with anyone out there who's looking for some kind of distance learning option that is super inexpensive and just like a fraction of the cost of real preschool where you send your kids out of your home. So anyway, that's kind of the birth of it and where it's gone and where we're started. You can kind of see I've got some fun things going on behind me. This is where I film here in my classroom, all of those videos. So again, show me some love. It's preschool with me and you can look in the description box below. That will be the YouTube channel where all of them are posted. And then my website, which is kaylinmorell.com, um, is what has all of the additional content and information. And again, we're still building it all, but I'm excited because you guys are going to get to be the first ones that get to experience it. Um, and I'm hoping that it'll be a really great, valuable resource for you guys. So all that being said, happy summer to you. Hopefully things are going good for you. And um, subscribe to my channel here as we begin to start our homeschool life for 2020-21 and all of those update videos and content that comes out at the beginning of every school year. So anyway, thanks so much guys for tuning into this video and we will talk to you in another one. Bye!